Controlling the stray cat population and returning lost cats to their owners has animal experts in Otago calling for compulsory microchipping to be introduced. Joining us tonight to tell us about the problem is Otago University Senior Lecturer of Zoology, Dr Yolanda Van Hazek. Good evening. Good evening. Why do you believe compulsory microchipping in cats should be introduced? Well, I think there's a growing recognition that, um, that there is a stray cat problem in the city and um, it's a problem trying to manage stray cats because unless um, cats are microchipped, we don't know whether they're owned or not. Um, stray cats uh, have diseases which they can pass to uh, other people's cats and also to people as well. And of course they have an impact on wildlife. So um, if we want to try and manage stray cats, then we need to um, microchip pet cats so that when cats are caught, then we know that they actually belong to someone. Why do you think nothing's been done up to this point? I think that um, in New Zealand, traditionally, we just feel that uh, we don't have to do anything to control our cats. Um, and it's interesting because, in fact, uh, dog ownership has become much more kind of regulated. So there's been, over the last couple of decades, people's attitudes have changed about how, um, I guess, how, how dogs should be owned. But that same process hasn't really happened for cats. So perhaps, you know, we need to think about doing that. What sort of cost is involved in microchipping a cat? You would have to ask the SPCA that. I think um, from, what, from when I've spoken to them, they've suggested that they could wrap it up in a package with other things like neutering as well, so that mm. it shouldn't be prohibitive. So how many cats are there in Dunedin and what kind of impact are they having on the wildlife here? Um, well, I know roughly um, how many pet cats there are because that's what I've actually done research on. And I can say that there's about 220 per square K um, and you can extrapolate that up over the, the, um, the area of Dunedin, so I think that's somewhere over 14,000. But in terms of how many stray cats there are, no one really knows. It's very difficult to, to count stray cats. You know, as you know, they're, they're often very shy, and um, then, you know, it's just not possible to come up with a number. And the impact that they're having? Oh, yeah. Well, um, cats are known to catch birds, and of course mice and rats as well. Um, we know with pet cats that uh, there's a proportion of cats that actually are quite prolific in, in that they'll be catching several things every week. Um, there's a bigger proportion that um, catch fewer things and, and of course there's a proportion that doesn't catch anything at all as far as we know. Um, those are just the things that the cats you know, bring home and show, show off to their, their families. Um, but there was a study done in the, in the USA just with uh, using kitty cams just last year. They published that that showed that that cats over there were only bringing back about a third of the things that they actually caught. So, um, so I think that the estimates that we have for New Zealand are probably underestimates. Mm. Now, a cat committee was established by Dunedin City Councillor uh, Kate Wilson yeah. last year. Uh, what's come from that committee and who's involved? Well, there are a number of people who were invited to participate, um, and that includes other people from the DCC, so there was someone from the animal control team, people from the SPCA of course. Um, I was invited because I've done research on cats and um, of course uh, right, the SPCA and a number of uh, people that are, are involved in trying to um, catch and rehome stray cats and also to help provide funding so that people can get, the, get their cats neutered. So I guess there's, a, there's quite a wide variety of people that are involved in cats you mm. know, from different points of view. What would you like to see happen next? Happen next. Well, I guess um, I would like to see some more done about controlling stray cats around the city. Um, in Auckland, you know, there, for example, the, the, a study recently showed that there were over 700 cat colonies across the whole city, and we don't want that same situation to happen here. So, and microchipping would be a good way to start that. Yeah. University of Otago Senior Lecturer of Zoology, Dr. Yolanda Van Hazek, thanks very much for your time. You're